In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of uh, Gospel Library for um, for the Nook. Actually, what's going on here, in order for you to be able to put Gospel Library on your Nook, the first thing you're going to need to do is to root your Nook, which basically allows you to run the Android operating system and, and be able to use all the different applications kind of um, beneath the uh, Nook software that is installed on here. So anyway, <clears throat> what I'm going to do first is wake up my Nook. Let's see here. And um, and I'm going to load up the um, the Android interface that happens when you when you uh, root your Nook and you follow the instructions that are in the description in the um, below in this video. It'll show you how to um, how to quote root your Nook so you can be able to um, uh, get books from different sources, but also download apps from the Android store. At this point, I already have a rooted Nook, so I'm going to open up the um, uh, the menu here. You can actually open up the menu and see all of your applications. But now I'm going to open up Gospel Library. In order to get Gospel Library on your Nook, you first need to root it, and then go to the Android Store and be sure to follow all the directions in the other video. Uh, and then go to the Android Store and just download it. Here's an example of it on my uh, simple uh, Nook Simple Touch with Glow Light. Um, you can go into scriptures here, Doctrine and Covenants, and just pick something here, Introduction. So I'm just going to show that the Gospel Library does certainly work on the Nook, but you need to, in order to use it, you can't use the buttons here, but you need to actually go like this to be able to scroll, kind of to scroll up and down. So anyway, in order for you to use the Nook, just be sure to first root it, and then you can get your own copy of Gospel Library on here. Um, there's a lot of other things you can do with the rooted Nook, but mostly, I just use it for, um, uh, now that I've read it, I can use it for reading General Conference and the other things that the Gospel Library app has to offer. The Nook does not have audio playback, so you won't be able to listen to anything. So yeah, that's just basically about it. This is mostly just a proof of concept to show that um, Gospel Library can easily be run on a Nook Simple Touch. That's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, or if you've actually done it, please comment on the video below so I know how many people... Uh, this is actually working for us so that um, I can maybe give some more guides if people have any questions. Okay, thanks. That's it.